I'm excited to be joined on the Microsoft Build stage with Sandra and Allison from the Microsoft Learn team. And we're gonna be diving into all things Microsoft Learn. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so now that we're diving in, can you tell me a little bit more about what Microsoft Learn can offer developers across the world? Absolutely. There's so much that Microsoft Learn can offer, and we're super excited to be here today. So really, Microsoft Learn is the hub for our training, documentation, resources, credentials across the technology suite for Microsoft. So anything from self-paced training that's available, we've got instructor-led training, we do virtual training days, we do events, um, challenges, resources, documentation, there's really so much that's there. Um, and it's just a wealth of resources and information. That's amazing. And I I, I know Microsoft Learn has been pivotal in my career and learning Microsoft technologies in particular, um, but it also just learning about technology in general. That's, I didn't realize it was so extensive though. Yeah. But Sandra, can you tell me a little bit more about how, given AI and the focus on AI, how can organizations focus their learning to improve their workflow and what they need to be accomplishing? Absolutely, Don. AI is changing so many things. It's changing every industry, every sector, and organizations are willing and eager to get everything AI. There are so many opportunities for organizations, for technology professionals. And one of the things is that organizations are looking for that people that can help them execute all these transformative projects. And they are not finding them. They've been struggling for a while on finding the right people with the right skills. There is a skills gap, it's real, and AI is just making it bigger. Interesting. So we are seeing actually some organizations, customers and partners we work with, they are using this skills first approach to deal with this challenge of finding the people with the skills. And this is pretty cool. It's something that we use at Microsoft. Skills first means focusing on competencies and skills, not only on degrees, not only on your job history, on your title. And we do use this at Microsoft. So what we are doing with Microsoft Learn is that we are using everything that we are learning from our customers, from our partners, from the way we do it internally, and we are helping customers and partners to build these skills that they need. And we are providing them with the resources so they can build skills, demonstrate skills, verify skills, and they can uh, use and lead all these transformative projects. So if I'm understanding you correctly, the change in the industry is necessitating an, a change in the skill sets and they can find that on Microsoft Learn. Exactly, so the way we think about our credentials and our, our training is skills-based. So what are the skills that customers, organizations need for the roles that are critical for AI, yeah. for the projects that they are embarking. So we design our trainings and credentials in a way that is easy for them to take all this information awesome. on Microsoft Learn and gain these skills. Awesome. Okay, so Allison, mm -hmm. where should they start? Oh gosh, there is a lot, but um, AI obviously is top of mind, um, and there's so much. There's so much on AI, but we really think about skilling being a personal journey, and AI is absolutely no different. So no matter where you are in that journey, we've got content for you. Whether you're looking for Azure Open AI, whether you're looking for Copilot, um, you know, we've got a lot of content that's available. The second area that I really think is important to bring up is really around security, right? So we definitely want to make sure that our customers, our partners, are really secure securing their data, securing their organizations. And so there's a lot of resources that is specifically in the security space that we want to make sure that folks are getting and getting those skills, as Sandra mentioned, really making sure that you're, you're ready to go there. Okay. And there were also some announcements today. There's a lot going on with Microsoft <laughs> Learn. Oh, we are. Give us the tea. Yeah. We are super excited. We have made some announcements here at Deal. They are all on the Microsoft Learn blog. And it's everything around how to build AI skills. So the first announcement is we continue growing our portfolio of Microsoft credentials because we know people want to prove they have these skills. So we have released today five new Microsoft Applied Skills credentials for AI and for cloud. We are very excited about this. Second, we just released plans 
to build AI skills. So plans, you know, is a recent feature that we released two weeks ago on Microsoft Learn. Mm -hmm. And we give you guidance and a structured content, milestones and reminders, because it's important that you stay focused on your training. Uh -huh. So you don't need to figure out like, oh, I want to learn this. Where do I start? Right. We are giving you everything there with plans. And we released today plans for AI specifically, and we'll keep releasing more. And also the coolest announcement that we are doing, we are very excited about this, is the new Copilot Learning Hub. This is a space inside Microsoft Learn just dedicated to resources to learn Copilot. So this is where technology professionals need to go to find everything, to find which one is the Copilot that they need to work on, what is the experience that fits them better. And they're going to find training, videos, tutorials. It's amazing. We just launched this uh, today as well. And you know, one of the things that we were talking about how, how AI is disrupting everything yeah. is that getting ready for AI is pervasive to every role in the organization, not just to, to technology people. So we just released today also, we are announcing training for non-technical roles. Wow. Because it's super important that they actually get to learn how to use Copilot. So we have a new training series for line of business users. So they can use Microsoft Copilot according to their role. So we have for marketing, for HR, for operations, people that are not so in technology and they can use Copilot. And we also have a new training for business leaders because a lot of companies are trying to figure out like, okay, this AI thing, what do I do with them? Mm -hmm. So we have training for business leaders so they can get the skills and the knowledge to plan their AI strategy adoption. Everything super happy with this announcement today. That's exciting. It's like these announcements <laughs> were made for me. You are doing the learning for me. I appreciate it. Thank you from me. Yeah. Um, but also thank you for our audience. There's stuff going on this week. What's oh, happening this yes. week here? Yes, there is lots of stuff going on for Microsoft Learn even here. Yes. Um, and so if you're joining us uh, in person, head on down to the third floor. There's instructor-led labs, on-demand labs. There's an assessment area. You can take a practice assessment um, or an applied skills that we talked about. Okay. In addition, you can also take on-site certification. So if you're here on site, there's a free exam for anyone who is here on site. Cool. Um, so definitely head on down. And then the Microsoft Learn Experience, we're going to demo all the new AI uh, features and functionalities that we have. We're going to talk about the Copilot Learning Hub. So really exciting. If you're here, definitely come check us out on the third floor. I've heard such cool whispers <laughs> in the halls. I'm so excited to check it out myself. Yep. When I get a chance, I'm going to scurry away. Yes. Um, and there's also some things online. Yes. So what's happening so online? For our digital audience, we want to make sure that you are not feeling left out. Okay. Um, and so don't worry because all of the sessions that we have, especially all the breakouts, there are Microsoft Learn collections aligned to all those sessions. So that's where you get to take all that rich resources and, and um, information. You could take that home. So every session has a, a collection available to it. Um, and then in, a diff in addition, no, no event, no big event like Microsoft Build would be complete without the Microsoft Learn Challenge. So it's a Build Edition this time, very focused on AI, but super excited. So make sure you check out uh, the the skills challenge. Oh, I'm, I will check it out yep. myself personally. You got that promise, okay? Um, I am so thrilled I got a chance to talk to you. Thank you everyone for joining us around the world, here and online in our digital audience. There's so much to do. Um, how can people learn more? Mm. Great Absolutely. Question. So we are learn. So learn with us. <laughs> Easy. Aka dot ms slash learn at build that's the easiest it can be is a place where you can people here attending the UN can go and check and remember all the stuff that they learn here all the resources are there everything that Alison mentioned collections the Microsoft learn challenge uh, the link to the copilot learning hub everything is in that page so if you came to the UN is your reminder and if you don't come if you couldn't come to the UN is the same place you're gonna find all the information learn at build if people are having a little FOMO, they can get it online. And you can all hang out with us here. <laughs> that was so considerate of you all. I appreciate it. And it's been so lovely talking to you. I've, I'm having a blast. I'm excited to learn on Microsoft Learn. Thanks, Don. Absolutely.